of going through the home construction spreadsheet, which helps you to organize your project of building your home, to, uh, keeping track of all the costs and schedule, and even goes through a step-by-step -step checklist. Um, right now, uh, we're going to we're on the uh, uh, framing part of it, so that you can see that here. This is where the summary is, thirty-five thousand. Uh, this is just a summary. But when we go down here to the details, you can see that uh, this thir that thirty-five thousand is coming from here. So. And if you need an overview of the spreadsheet, please check back on part one. Okay, so but now you're on your framing labor. Um, you you can see that you can go through a lot of detail if you want to detail this out really nicely. What I did in, for this case for this project is I just said, okay, the framing labor is here and the framing wall materials are here, and I just all encompassed um, price of of per square foot <clears throat> and um, put. The uh, cost per square foot is here, and then here's the unit square foot, and here's the number of square feet, and then that multiplies out to get 21,000 for the framing materials, and then the framing labor, similar, you know, square foot, same, you can see the quantity is the same, the price is a little bit different at four, but it just has a 14,000 there. Then you can see those add up to make 35,000. But like I said, if you want it, you can go through in detail and, you know, come out with, you know, how many, uh, you know, two by eights am I gonna buy? Um, you know, how many, uh, <laughs> excuse me, how many two by tens, you know, by, by 10 foot and all that stuff you can go through and, um, you know, go through in detail on, on how you want to do these types of things. And then, um, uh, we can see that we've got the ceiling framing materials, the roof framing materials, the roof decking materials, the fascia, the roof trusses, all that stuff you can detail out and then um then so that's the cost part of it now if we go over here to this tab um the framing is right here so you can see that's making up about 10 percent of our cost and then when we go to the schedule we can see that the framing is uh, right down here okay so then you can go through and say okay the first floor framing materials i need to be <clears throat> getting those around 15, 16 April. I need uh, the second floor framing materials between 20 and 21 April. The rafters and the roof decking materials, I need those between 25 and 26 April. The roof trusses material, I need those coming on site about 25 to 26 April. And and then the, the labor, he's going to be there like, you know, the 17th. And then uh, the miscellaneous stuff, 17th as well. Wind storm inspection, so that's around the 20th of April. Wall sheathing materials, 21 April, and then a few miscellaneous things. You can see you've also got the framing inspection for the structural here on 10 May. You've got the lathe and brick tile inspection around 11 May. And then, again, you can see all this stuff graphically over here if you want to. Go back and look at part one if you need a little bit of help with seeing what's going on here. But this is a Gantt chart that you're looking at. But anyway, this is where you do your scheduling part of the framing. Then when we move over to the step-by-step -step checklist, you can see that this is where that's happening here. So we, we discussed earlier, like, the foundation and stuff like that. Now, this for the framing part of it of the step-by-step -step checklist, you can see, okay, we're going to be begin framing around 17 April. This is being pulled from your schedule that you set up, everything you see on this spreadsheet here is all being pulled from your cost and, and schedule tabs. Nothing on here is, is you don't input anything on here. So, but uh, you can see, okay, you begin framing on 17 April. You want to, although you're framing, you want to think about hiring your electrical contractor. You need to be doing that sometime in this time frame here. The time, the overall time frame for the for the framing is is 17 April to uh, May 1st. So then you also want to be hiring your HVAC contractor now, hiring your cabinet maker now, hiring your co uh, if you get cultured marble, uh, if you've got uh, do your countertop provider, uh, talk to your insulation contractor. You want to make additional uh, framing material orders as needed. That's the general contractor here. You can see that he's over here. Windstorm inspection. This is uh, um, uh, something that uh, you'll have set up around 21 April. And <laughs> this is uh, when you'll pay the, the framer. Uh, the first of, normally you pay him in, in three uh, payments, but the, he'll receive uh, you know his first payment of 43.70 around 21 April your bank is going to, going to want to know this type of inf information for your draw schedule on, on the uh, the financing for your construction loan then you've got other uh, 
informal, what we call informal. They might be formal where you live. You have to check that. But but here for this, we, we put informal, you know, like the f informal framing in inspection. You'll definitely have a, a formal one, but this you'll want to, you know, check stuff before you have the, the city come out. But uh, anyway, you got uh, as framing continues and before the completion, check to see that all these things are done. So you want to make sure that, you know, while framing is going on, you're walking through and you're checking these types of things like... Uh, walls that have cabinets, they're straight, the doors are level, the doors open and close smooth, the windows are level, uh, sufficient dead wood is in ceiling framing, the joists are, are sized and spaced according to the plan, the stair riser measurements are according to code, plumbing is within framed walls or uh, if fur out is needed, utility company, rough ends, the gas line, you'll want to have that happening around 1 May. The fireplace is roughed in. That's the next on, item here on the on the step by step checklist. That needs to be happening around 30 April. You want to measure the cabinets around 22 April, and then you want to be uh, making cabinet and countertop selections around 17 April. And, and, and again, like even though this is all under the framing heading, these are things that need to be happening so that uh, right now, like for the cabinets, so that so that when it's time for the cabinets to be installed. You know, you already talked to the guy, you made the selections and they've been working on it. And now they're ready to come put it in your house. Okay. And, and, uh, for the payment there on the cabinet, for example, here, you can see that this is, you know, you can expect one of two payments. You know, the, the first payment here is just to get it ordered and get him working on it, you know, and, and that's 4,200 around 17 April. That'll be on your cash draw schedule. Okay. So this was the framing part of the uh, sheet. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next part.